M0 FXB, still learning about the, mine is a Pofung uh, 1702, yours is a RT72. So we're on this page here, retivist.com, I'll put the link in the description. You've got three downloads, um, USB driver, so download that, RT72 contact data software, so that's a separate program that you download. To, that you use to import the the uh, database contacts that you'll get from somewhere like Alliance um, to get your contact list. Now, don't forget, it's not a massive memory on this radio, but uh, anyway, the radio is on here, and I've just put in the UK there. But let's just go back. So download this, download all three of these, and then you've got the the key one is the programming software. So when you do download any of these, just click one. And you see these little 100% files, they just show you that you've done it. And then just when you click the actual zip, extract it to somewhere where you're going to find it. And then you can run the setup. When you run the setup, let's say for the programming software, let's do one at a time. You'll end up with a program that looks like this. Okay. And you want to, let's just say you want to do it all from scratch. So I'll just go through it with you. It says RT72. I'm hoping that the Pofung 70, uh, 1702 is the same. It looks like it is to me, but I haven't got my radio yet. But I'm still learning. So first thing, you've got a blank page. So I would just click File, click Open. And then look, you're going to have a file like this, which you, could, which you can rename. Just keep the point data at the end, double click. And then you're going to have a blank file. Now I've put some settings in, so let's do one at a time. First thing, go underneath General Settings, go Parameter. And then in here at the top, let's move this so you can see it. Put in your DMR ID here. Uh, and then put in, well, the boot screens don't really matter, but radio alias. So that's your call sign. Obviously, you do have to register with a DMR database to get your DMR number. And it is linked to your call sign. So the rest I haven't really changed. Then you're going to be thinking, right, you've got a blank code plug. So... You've got VFOA and VFOB, but all I've done now, I've just selected channel and I've gone into the channel and then I'll show you how I did a digital one now. You can change these as they are, just seeing this short section here, but if you click the right hand arrows where it says more, you'll get the whole channel show up just like on another DMR radio. So this is where you're going to create channel. Now don't forget, without a contact number, you cannot... Do create a DMR channel. So what you need to do really is just click contact and you need to start creating some talk group numbers that you like. So my favorite ones to always to create at first are, and I'll add one now is, our, so click add, okay? And what we're gonna do in the core two, we're gonna call this TG22350, group core, and call that now, now the call, the call ali alias just means name or, or, or group number, I suppose. But the most important is that you put the right number in the call ID because that's what DMR uses. So, so two, three, don't forget I'm new to this, so I'm learning as I do it. Two, three, five, zero. Okay, and then click add. There you go. So we've got that one in there. Two, three, five, oh, we've got talk group nine. You can see how I've done it. I'll do another one. Uh, let's just go. This one here, TG2352, so I think it's a chat channel, but the, the most important bit is the ID, 2352. Now you have to have the, the caller ID. Without a caller ID, you can't talk on DMR. So remember, you've gone to contacts here, you've double clicked and you're adding contacts and you can add loads. I don't know the limit, but you can add loads. Okay, All right, click the, Go back to the channel. All these windows remain open, and they do sort of save as you go. Um, and the, but at the end, you do have to fully save it. It will give you the option. You can click here. See that? The little um, save square there. Or when you close, it gives you the option. So if we this is a this is an analog channel. I'll just let's just click out some of this for now. So the top one, when I clicked across. This was the analog channel I created. So I put in GB3WR, I put in the 145600 output. TX is the input, 145, 
you've got one, two, five noughts there, and I've selected analog. Then on the right here, I've got nothing, but I've got the CTCSS 94.8. So that should effectively give, give us a normal FM analog repeater channel. Okay, so let's close that. So let's go to the second one here. I've done a digital channel. Now, let's click the little right hand arrows here, and you get the full window then. So with that, you, let's have a look now. You can put in the frequency of your hotspot or repeater. So I put in these. This is my hotspot hot spot frequency, and you could the name here. I've got Talk Group Nine because it's going to hotspot. But if that was my repeater, I put GB Seven. I don't know DM, and then you would have the receive frequency and the out. You'd have the input and the output of the repeater instead of the simplex channel that we've got here. It's not a dual hotspot. It's a single hotspot, and then you've got to put in your slots. So let's just say it's. Um, Slot one, and, it, and let's just say color code two, it could be. I think a lot of repeaters use three, but for now, slot one, color code two. But check with the, the repeater or the hotspot you're using. Now, everything else looks fine. I don't really need to use the scan list. I'll just confuse things, but you, you know, you, it, you can put it in a list and then scan the list. So I think everything else looks fine. Yeah, so that's now gonna, when I key the mic on that, it's gonna. Get, connect me to talk group nine uh, talk group nine is more of a local connection where you connect to the radio and then you can use the radio to input different um, talk groups but I haven't tried it on the RT72 yet so it might not work so right now if you went to this channel and keyed you would only talk to the hotspot on nine um, if you really if you want to connect to you know like uh, a busy talk group then it's like this one here same frequency on my hotspot talk group 91 I just click that. And so, look, the contact that's selected, so I need to select the right contact. Ah, this is where I probably missed out on, didn't I? So DMR Digital, let's find the contact, because that is really important. Here it is, contact name. So we want talk group 91. There you are. I need to save that, save that. That's really important, it won't work properly. Now if we go click out, we'll go back to the talk group nine, look. Click the right hand arrows here to open up the full window. And then my mistake, you do have to collect down here, TX contact and you want on this group, it's talk group nine, okay? And uh, we can uh, save that as well. Click save, okay, let's do another one. So let's go on channel four, let's go with channel four. We'll go do the arrows on the right. We'll put in the frequency of my, uh, let's do it. Should we do a repeater, shall we? Um, so let's, we'll have to make up the frequency. So let's just say the repeater is on 430.900. Okay, let's just say it is. And that the TX, let's do it 430.00. Like so. And then we'll say that the TX has a shift. And don't forget, these are just hypothetical frequencies. 439. Uh, 430.900, so a 900 shift, okay? And we'll call it GB7, we'll call it 900, just for fun, okay? And then digital, so we've got a shift in now, and we can do slot one, I know a lot of repeaters are on color code three. Let's do slot two. Okay, so we've got that, and then we can say, click OK, GB7900. Oh, no, we do have to select the where we want it to go. So let's say we want it, when we key, we want it. Now, talk group 9 would be a common one for a repeater, actually, because then the repeater keeper selects what, what he wants to connect to. So we'll click Save on that. So we'll just Save. Okay, so we've basically created a repeater. There you go. So that's digital channels, FM analog channels, always group call, unless you're going to, I think, private, if you want to do disconnect, which is 4,000, I think that's a private call. Correct me if I'm wrong, let me know. So all you would do um, is just go, let's just click the right thing here. Let's call it 4,000. We'll call it 4,000. Actually, no, we'll call it disconnect. Connect, 4,000, disconnect. And then same frequency as whatever you're using. So I'll do my hotspot, 431.550, 431.550, and it's digital, 
and then we're good. we need to create the contact so let's just go to contacts here on the left we need to create a contact called 4000 so let's do it 4000 and we'll do this time we'll do private I'm not sure if it is private but we'll do it anyway and then someone correct me because I'm just doing it for now add there you go it's in there private call 4000 <clears throat> seems to always keep one channel spare if I keep adding there's always one still there but it doesn't I don't think that matters really so let's save all that save right okay so we now have if we go to our zone zone one my favorite look here's all the channels in my favorite here yeah, that one to view now zone two we I know it says alias. I'm guessing I can send them into it if I want to. This is the bit I haven't quite done yet. Available, available. So I'm guessing I can send them into this zone. I actually don't know how to do that yet. <laughs> uh, let's have a look now. Let's try adding. Let's click add. So zone, zone, you can add as many zones as you want. Look, add, add, add. Lots of zones, yeah? Um, so zone two. Let's have a look now. It says available. Now how do we send them across? Let's send let's try selecting one here. Zone two. Let's go across. Now there you go. So test is just almost like a blank channel. We could probably delete them. So let me click them across. There, so that's how you add channels into zones. See that? Zones. And the zone is when you're changing up and down zones, you could have one zone just for, let's rename this zone. Let's call it FM analog, repeat. It would be analog channels, yeah? Okay. FM analog. And let's, we'll click the word add. There you go, that puts it in there then. So in that, in that let's just say we only want channels like GB3WR. So it's already in there, see that? We can take it out by doing that. We can add it in like that. So you could have 10 FM analog repeaters and just put them in zone two. And you send them across like that. See that? And then you can still flip back to your other zone. And in that zone, maybe you could have all of your digital repeaters. And then you could create another zone for, say, simplex channel. So you would just go simplex, click it here, simplex channels. There you go. And then click add. And then in the channel thing, if we just save as we go here. In the channel thing, you could start creating channels like that. So you go to channel at the top. And then you just go here. Let's say you want it to be a simplex channel. Click the arrows on the right. 145.500. There you go. 145.500. See, and it's a simplex FM analog. You've done that. You don't need shift. You don't need everything else. You can set the power, I suppose. Power level. I left it on high. There you go. We created that channel now. What does it save as we go? So now, when you go into zone, if you go to back to zone here, go to the simplex channel, and this time, look for the channel that we just created that was called simplex. Now, did we name it? can't see it there now so let's go back to channel uh, there no we didn't name it it's called channel six so we'll, we'll just rename it we'll call it 145.500 at least we know what we're on about we'll save that okay so now let's go back to the zone I know I'm going back and forth but I'm actually re reminding myself the so simplex channels and look look for the one that's 145500 click it Send it into that zone. So you've now got two FM analog channels in that zone. Do you get it? So on the radio, you'll select different zones, and each zone has groups of channels that you're creating. So, right, so when you're happy with all that, and you think you've got it all right, I haven't got the radio now, that you would now set, definitely save it before you do this, which I've done. You can rename the file um, if you want, which we'll go, probably go back and do in a second. Click right, and then look, you're now right. And it says you can select whether to write, add the IDs as well, because that will take longer. And so click or unclick, see? And click OK, and it's not going to be able to send it because it's not even connected. Um, 
so uh, that's um, I'm going to call this video how to write uh, your code plug from scratch and then I'm going to make another video using the contact data next uh, so I hope this helps if you uh, find my channel helpful please subscribe and like 73 all the best